Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Amazon Alexa Smart Assistant to control your Xbox One console. Now, if you're looking for the written instructions on how to get this done, you can find a link to my website in the video description. Before doing anything further, do make sure that your Xbox One console is fully updated with the latest updates because otherwise the steps you see here in this video might be different from what you have available to you. So with that said, it doesn't matter where you are in your Xbox console, in the main screen or whatever, just hit the Xbox button on your Xbox One controller. And then on this pop-up menu, what you're gonna do is navigate to the far right and then go down to settings. And then from here, you wanna to go to devices and connections and then over to digital assistance. So in my case, I've already checked enable digital assistance. That's basically what you need to activate if yours hasn't been already done. Um, and then from here, if you wanna go back, this is an extra step. This might not be applicable to you. It didn't apply to me either, but just something I wanna mention just in case. Uh, so you're pretty much ready to set up the skill, but uh, in some people's cases, if you're running an older version of the Xbox One operating system, you might have to go to general. And then if you see this option right here that says sleep mode and startup, in some people's cases, it might called uh, power mode and startup. So just select this. So again, in my example, this is not really applicable because sleep mode is set to standby. What this basically means is that if I want to turn on the console while it's off, it'll do that. Um, in some other cases, if you're running an older version of Xbox One operating system, I don't think it's called sleep mode here. I think it's called something else. You might have to adjust it. But again, if you update the latest firmware version, you're, you'll be just fine. So let's switch over to how to um, connect Xbox One to the smart assistant using mobile device. Okay, so the steps I'm going to show you are pretty similar across uh, iOS or Android devices. I'm using an Android device. But you want to basically install the app from the App Store or Google Play Store. Um, on your home screen, when you start out for the first time, you might have a Wi-Fi network discovery mode activated automatically. What that basically means is that um, the smart assistant will automatically detect compatible devices on your home network. And you might see the Xbox skill listed here on the main screen. If not, at the bottom right, just simply tap more, skills and games in the middle. And then from here, you wanna search for the Xbox skill. At the top, there's like a magnifying glass at the top right, which allows you to search. And there you have the top result, which is the Xbox skill and tap enable to use. And of course, from here, you have to log into your Microsoft account. This is the same Microsoft account that's used on your Xbox One console. You'll get a warning prompt, just basically saying that uh, the smart assistant will need some minor information to your uh, Microsoft profile, just hit yes. Nothing sensitive data, nothing too uh, important to be worried about. And that's pretty much it. Now it says it's linked. So at this point, it's linked to my Microsoft account, but what I need to do is actually find the device on my home network. So we're just gonna let it load up. Okay, so now that we have it connected, let's give a couple example commands. Turn off Xbox One. Okay. And just like that, it turned off the console. So let's get it back on. Turn on Xbox One. Okay. And there you have it, it works flawlessly. You can do more granular controls like opening apps or games. So for example, open Netflix on Xbox One. Getting Netflix from Xbox. And there you have it. And if you're really not sure to what extent you can go, you can always just say, ask Xbox, what can I say? To control the Xbox power, just say... And that's all there is to it. So if you found this video too, be sure to check out my social links and website links in the video description. Hit the like button. It does help. Subscribe. And thanks for watching.